Why hello there YouTubers, so today we ha are hacking a Carrera electric bike, Carrera Vulcan e-spec electric bike to have a twist throttle. Why? Because the stock system sucks, and I mean like heavily. Now basically the crank sensors on these and the crank sets themselves are complete junk. Um, the crank has a habit of eating the crank sensor, particularly if you go like over a jump or whatever, it's kind of hard to explain without sort of showing it. I'll show that in another video, but it's an optical pickup system. If it gets dirt in it, it destroys the sensor. Basically, I fixed it, got it running, and I broke the sensor again. Um, what someone mentioned, a little piece of plastic was missing on the crank that's supposed to keep dirt out. I've seen quite a few that don't have it, so it's either very, very flimsy or some bikes just didn't have it and it's supposed to be there. But regardless, we are hacking this bike anyway. So what we have here is a 500 watt controller and a load of janky wiring set up at the moment to see if this idea will actually work. Now you can't just use the battery and take power from the battery because it will simply shut down and not output anything because it doesn't detect the presence of the controller. Um, there are separate wires, these are the wires here, going to these terminals here which then the battery, yeah, it's all connected and it needs to uh, have that signal in order to actually power up. So we've got the old controller in line with our new controller. We have the power wires of this controller connected to the power wires of this controller. Um, and one surprise is it's not even switched on when I'm getting power, um, and it's staying there. So here's our throttle. Um, you know, the wires are just kind of there, so if you wanted to shoot, for, well, it won't shoot forward because the motor is set up to run in reverse at the moment. It's a geared motor, so obviously it's not going to uh, spin because it's wrapped, the sprag clutch inside is preventing it from doing so. But this is just proof of concept that it does run. But if this controller wasn't present, as far as I'm aware, it won't. Um, is there anything we can disconnect to prove that? No, not really. But yeah, I know I have done it in the past on a subway, for a subway, and it would not... You can get power out of the battery for any more than a couple of seconds, but you realising there was no controller connected, and it would just shut down. But in this case, we have power, so this should work. I've just got to put this in, an, in you know, a controller bag, put that back on the bike, and we should all be good to go. Also, the speed limit up will not be there anymore, so this will be a speed-hacked Carrera Vulcan as well as a throttle-hacked Carrera Vulcan. Um, I thought I was going to have to do a lot more, like wiring in the whole sensors um, to pick up the, you know, on this controller. Um, it's, I'm running it senseless at the minute, I'm going to cut the sensor wires, I believe it's not going to care because it's not even turned on. Um, I thought I was going to have to leave them connected to this controller and have them connected to this controller in order for it to actually, you know, stay powered up. And I thought the screen was going to have to be powered up in order for the thing to output power out of the battery, but it doesn't seem that that is actually the case. Um, I'm wondering what's actually going on with this. I'm wondering if that's just simply, like, bridged contacts inside the controller, and all it's really doing is, you know, acting as an on switch, so to speak. It could be. Could put a multimeter across. I don't think it is. I have heard that it's basically like a CAN bus type thing, but... In that case, I think it would be a lot smarter than this, and it wouldn't actually be out of run. It would know. And also, I would have thought there'd be current monitoring and stuff like that going on, so it would know how much current it's drawing and how much current it should be drawing, and maybe freak out and shut down, but that does not seem to be the case. So, yeah, that's part one of hacking a Carrera Vulcan.